the oil that I will be using would be the Amsoil 10W30. I'm often asked, what oil do I use in my Hunter Gold Wing? I use a full synthetic uh, made by Amsoil. If you don't have full synthetic, uh, conventional Honda oil will work just fine. Um, some of you have different brands that you prefer, and that's a debate for another day. But I use the Amsoil full synthetic for my oil filter. I'm just going to be using this inexpensive Honda OEM filter. Uh, some guys like to use the uh, synthetic filters, the Super Tech. Uh, there are several different oil filters that you can buy for your Honda Gold Wing. But for this oil change, I'm just uh, using a OEM Honda oil filter. A couple of the tools that I will be using, I have an oil filter wrench, a couple different styles. And I have a couple of tools that I can use to take the oil drain plug out of the Gold Wing. So this is basically all that I'm gonna be using to change the oil on this Honda Gold Wing. If you don't have a motorcycle lift, you can just place your Honda Gold Wing on the center stand. I have the belly pan underneath the Gold Wing. It has a couple of Phillips screws that I have to remove to access the oil filter and the drain plug. And this would be a good time to clean all the trash and debris from the access panel. As you can see, the last filter that I use is a Fram. So it's up to you what you wanna use uh, for this oil change. I'm gonna be using uh, the Honda OEM filter. The socket is a 17 millimeter. And I use a breaking bar, it just makes it a little bit better to, to break the, the tightness on the plug. The oil change is one of the simplest things that you can do to keep your gold wing running for years to come. And I'm draining all of that nasty oil. All of that nasty oil. Amsoil uh, is good for an oil change once a year, but I'm subject to change my oil at least, at least two or three times per year because oil is so cheap. It's one of the easiest things that you can do to keep your engine running properly for years to come. The Honda Goldwing generally holds 3.9 quarts. I generally put the whole uh, four quarts in the engine, but it calls for 3.9. So this is why I have an assortment of oil filters because this oil filter wrench is not even, it's not even working. So this vice grip style clamp just works a lot better. So all that nasty oil out. Look at all of that nasty oil. And some of you like to run the engine before you do your oil change. I generally do that sometimes. Let the oil heat up. Makes it better, easier to drain. This last filter that I used is a Fram XG6607. Fram XG6607. It's actually a... Uh, synthetic filter or filter for synthetic oil 
But in this oil change, I'm going to be going back with the standard Honda OEM filter. I'm just stopping the drip so I can install the Honda oil filter. And generally I take some fresh oil and just kind of lube the O-ring before I put it back on. Some guys like to even pour oil into the oil filter before they put it back on, which you could do that. And I just turn it till it stops. Then I put me just want to tighten it just a little bit. I don't want to over tighten it just a little bit. I picked these crush washers up at wingstuff.com. Now would be a good time to add a new crush washer to the oil drain plug. Pop quiz, pop quiz, what is the torque specs for the oil drain plug? What is the torque specs for the oil drain plug? The gold wing cost for 3.9, I generally pour uh, four quarts into the engine. Changing your oil is one of the cheapest and easiest things that you can do to keep your engine running for years and miles to come. This Goldwing currently has over 60,000 miles on it and I'll change the oil just because I get bored. A full synthetic oil change, you can do it for under $800. And that's with the filter and the oil if you do it yourself. If you go to the dealership, you'll probably pay a little bit more. So now that I have changed the oil, basically what I would generally do is let the gold wing run for a few minutes, go back underneath the bike and check to make sure that I don't have any leaks or anything. And once I verify that I don't have any leaks, I will then um, replace the cover for the belly pan. Next, let's move to the rear of the bike while I have the bike on the jack stand. Okay, looking at the back of the gold wing, the oil that I'm gonna be using to change the gear oil in the rear end would be the Lucas SAE 8890 gear oil. And it exceeds the recommended oil by Honda. Or you can just go back with regular Honda gear oil uh, for the rear end. I've actually filled this canister with the Lucas oil, it'll make it easier to put oil back into the rear end. I have two bolts that I need to remove. I will be using a 17 millimeter uh, box wrench. Before I take the bottom cap off to drain it, I wanna make sure that I can remove the top cap first because if I remove all of the rear end oil, and for some reason I stripped this cap out or I can't get it off, now I have no oil in the rear end. So always remove the top cap first and then remove the drain plug. All right, I have my drain bucket underneath, my 17 millimeter open box wrench. I wanna remove the top cap first, counterclockwise. Paper towels. I want to remove this top cap first. Next, we're going to remove the bottom cap, the bottom bolt.
I want to let that drain all the way out. I know a lot of Gold Wing owners that ride these bikes and they never check their rear end gear oil. And how you check it is you just remove the top cap. And if it doesn't start running out, that means you need to add some gear oil. And as you put gear oil over in the uh, rear end, once it starts coming out, you'll know it's full. And these are some of the things that you can do yourself as a Gold Wing owner to save yourself a lot of trouble. And a lot of money. And now that I have the uh, the bike on the lift, now is a good time to just inspect your trailer uh, right and left stabilizer bar to make sure it's not broken. On that last trailer hitch I had, which was a Karaokin, one of the stabilizer bars had broken. I did a video on that. I'll put that down in the description if you guys want to watch the video of me. Um, changing out the trailer hitch on my gold wing but now that i have the bike on the lift it's a good time to just do an inspection of your trailer hitch i'm gonna just pump pump the lucas oil over into the rear end until it flows out then i'll know it's full you can use a syringe but this pump can makes it a lot easier a lot easier to put fluid back into the rear end. And now you can see the the gear oil starting to run out. That means it's full. Honda didn't leave you no room to work it's real tight so you can easily cross thread this thing if you're not careful i generally take a little brake cleaner and kind of clean around getting any grease i want to make wipe sure. away any excessive oils So now is a good time that I normally would do a tire inspection while I have the bike up on the lift. This is one of the reasons why I invested into a lift. It gives me the opportunity to uh, check the bike, look it over, check the tires. I want to make sure that I don't have any metal in the tires. And I'm just doing a tire inspection. I just, I'm checking the tread, checking the wear bars. And it looks like, I don't know if that's a rock or if that's metal. It looks like metal. Okay, that's, that's a rock. So I'm just looking over the tires and make sure that I don't have any, any metal in my tires, make, making sure that the wear bars are not, making sure that the tires are not at the wear bars, looking over the tread, looking at the side walls, just doing an overall basic inspection of the tires. And this is going to conclude the video of me changing the oil on the Honda Gold Wing GL1800 and also changing the rear end oil on the Honda Gold Wing. If you guys have any questions or any comments, feel free to put them down in the comment section below. Your comments just may help someone. Well, anyway, this is your boy Chris out in the Caliente Garage, just doing some basic maintenance, checking all of my fluids, changing the oil, changing the rear end oil. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya.